questions, guys? Um, I just know how, how you know how hard it is. Um, coming in a uh, high draft pick first round, and um, he he battled through some injury. Told him no, you know um, you no, know, just, just gotta keep his head up, keep fighting through it. Um, you know it's a lot of pressure um, from from outside sources and pressure you put on yourself as well coming in and being drafted high. So you know just keep battling through it, and um, you know when you're ready, you're gonna be ready. Um. You know, I, I think it was in more so who approached who was just uh, noticing that uh, you know, you know he's coming in a uh, young guy. I, I was in the same position the year before, and uh, you know just talking, and we, we chopped it up a few times, and I knew that he was a guy that you know I, I needed to take kind under my wing and, and kind of um, you know give him. Um, I was still young myself, but you know the knowledge I gained from my first year uh, battling through the same things, and that I could kind of pass on. Um, I mean, you, you you can't replace Khalil. Um, um, we we know you know what he's he's doing, and uh, you know we respect it, and um, you know uh, you know I think the other guys have done a, a good job stepping up and um learning the system like we all everybody else have been, and um you know uh when he's ready to come back, you know we'll be ready for him, and you know we can't replace a guy like that. You said you were one of the guys you consulted before signing Daryl Worley just because of West yeah. Virginia and some of the you know, past issues he had a couple months ago. What are you guys getting in him? Um, man, he's uh, I knew he'd come in and uh, help us at that position. Um, we need some help in that position. And um, uh, when, when he asked me about him, I was excited because, uh, you know, that's my brother. We played almost all our years in college together. And uh, so when he asked me, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I, signed, I co-signed for him immediately. And um, I was excited. I knew he'd come in and help us. He's, he's a heck of a player. What do you think about the, uh, the whole all new defensive scheme, Gunther, the way they want you to play? Does it suit you and you think that you're pretty excited about the way things look? Yeah, I'm excited, man. Um it's it's a fun defense to play in and I uh thing I love about it is that he, he knows it like the back of his hand. Um he coaches very well. Um uh it's aggressive, uh, a lot of different moving parts and um it allows us to make plays, um play fast, make plays and attack from a lot of different uh positions. John said that he Chart who's closest to the ball every day is one of the things they do constantly. You said you're, you've been probably the most of anybody at being around the ball. But an indication that you're picking up this defense fast, or you still can pick up more? Or oh no, I think I'm I'm learning every day. Um, you know, uh, so I, having guys like Reggie and uh, um, a lot of more veteran guys than we've had previous years, I think that's helped me also. But um, guys like. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, to hear those guys, man, having veteran linebackers that that know that defense um, is help a lot. So I'm still learning, and uh, you know, uh, I think it's also uh, something he told me. You know, uh, he, he emphasized, he told me before OTAs that you know I need you to get to the ball. So um, that's something I take pride in. Gunther or Gruden that said that? Uh, Gruden. Yeah. Having a guy like Derek Johnson, I know the defense do for everyone else. Kind of that veteran presence. I think it allowed us to play with confidence, knowing that we got a middle linebacker that knows we. Um, all three actually, you know, they they know it. They're veteran guys. They they've been around the league for a while. They 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 know that defense. So uh, you know, I think that 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 trickles down to everybody else, uh, especially in the back end. We have confidence that they can make the checks, make the calls, and it just allows us to play more so than having to think and, and make checks. Has Gruden been different or the same? Or what Uh, can you ask that Has question Gruden again? Has been different or what you expected on a day-to-day -day basis as a coach dealing with them all that? Expected. I, uh, I what love. Did you <laughs> I love him. I love him, man. Um, he's a he's he brings a lot of energy every day. Um, straightforward guy, man. He he tells you exactly what he expects out of you. Um, there's nothing to hide. Uh. Uh, and uh, man, it's fun, man. I'm excited. I'm excited the way the way he has brought the team together. Um, you can tell. Um, I'm sure you guys can tell. Uh, I notice it. You know the the team chemistry out there. Um, I think that's something he takes pride in, just the way he he brings us together.
couple more guys. Working with Marcus, Gilchrist, and what does he bring to this game? Oh, he's smart. Smart. Um, versatile. He can play play nickel, play safety. Um, having a guy like that in the back end um, also add a lot of uh, competition and depth to our position. I think uh, it helps. It helps everybody. You know, everybody in the room um, help us to compete. Um, I think it's kind of bring the best out of everybody. Huh? Very good. He's a he's a he's a great coach, man. Uh, he's I almost forgot. I was like, who are you talking about? <laughs> Y'all, you said that like a play, like he's a player. You didn't say coach, coach Derek is. Uh, he's a man. He's he's a great coach, man. Uh, he he's hard on us. Uh, um, he's very uh, detail oriented. You know, he he he's all about the little details. Him and Coach Jim both. Um, you know, they're they're some great coaches, man. And I think uh, that's what we need in that back end. They uh, they 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 work very well together. Um, and how they bring the whole secondary uh, secondary together. Yeah. How can that start here in the spring? What can you guys do here in the spring just to work toward that? Um, I think just being around the ball. Uh, first of all, uh, learning, learning our responsibilities. That's the first thing. Um, and then that's just going. You know, this defense it allows you to make uh, plays, man. It's so many different moving gadgets, uh, so many blitzes. It's a very aggressive defense, and um, I think it allows us to play fast and be around the ball and make plays. So, um, I think we just gotta keep growing, man. Keep growing. We have a lot, a lot of room for improvement, but. Um, Man, I think we way up here ahead of where we were last year around this time, and um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see where we at when when we get to camp. Good. 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 With a practice plan, and then just change it. You know, change things on the fly to make people adjust and think on their feet. How beneficial is that going to be? Uh, I think it gets us ready. It gets us ready for game-like situations. Um, uh, not not everything not being scripted. Um, it allows us to think, think on our feet, being able to make calls and um, play well to each other, communicate. Um, so I think, I think it's good for us. It's going to get us ready. Last one. When you look back at your first two years, was it frustrating at all in terms of not being able to make the plays you made in college? Or how do you look back at your first two years as far as the impact of what you think will be going forward, I guess? Um, it's frustrating to me because I have high expectations for myself. Um, I know there's a lot of plays that I miss that, you know, I wish that I could get back. And, uh, you know, but it's all part of growing. I think going into my third year, I have very high expectations for myself. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I definitely got to I, I definitely gotta elevate my game. Um, I got to be the player that they drafted me to be. Um, and I, I put that on myself. So I got a lot of expectation for myself this year. Um, I'm holding myself to that. So, uh, you know, I got, just got to keep growing, keep learning from some of the older guys, Reggie, Leon, Marcus, um, and, and just keep getting better, man. Um, I think we, we are, we, we're in a good spot right now. I'm excited to where we headed, where we at right now, and, um, and we're we going to have a real good team.